friends, it's me, Miss Rachel. I'm back to talk to you about buoyancy. So this morning we talked about different types of waterways and we compared fresh water to salt water. So there's things like waterfalls, ponds, lakes, rivers, oceans, um, all different types of waterways. So today we were in circle time this morning during our Zoom, we talked about waterways that are fresh water, which means clear, regular water, and waterways that are salt water, like the ocean, which is kind of cloudy because it has a lot of salt in it. So we have two types of waters here in front of me. Now I'm gonna show you a little trick that I, first of all, we're gonna tell you about the word buoyancy. Buoyancy is a word that means something that will float in air or water or any other type of fluid. So it's something that floats and something that floats has buoyancy. So we're gonna do a little experiment and I have two clips that are exactly the same. Both black clips, both are clips that you clip your hair with, exactly the same. I added a lot of salt to this container and I added no salt to this container. So. We're gonna do a little experiment here and see if the salt water gives something buoyancy. So something that normally buoyant, normally is not buoyant, which would not float, if the salt water would give it buoyancy, would give it a floating capability. So let's try this clip. We're gonna put this clip in the regular water. It sinks right to the bottom. Yep, right there, sitting on the bottom. You can see it not doing anything, sunk right to the bottom. Now, we're gonna try this clip in the salt water. This one is floating. If you notice, it's not sitting on the bottom of the water. So, it goes to show that salt water definitely makes something more buoyant. So something that normally wouldn't float in fresh water will now float in salt water. Interesting. So I hope you thought you found out something really cool today. Salt water makes things float, hence why if you go to Israel and you float in the Dead Sea, you will float and float and float because it is so salty versus fresh water. So I hope you learned something great today. I hope you enjoyed my experiment and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.